All righty, good morning, T, G, I, and F. Happy Friday, even though it's a uh, wet one here, cold and wet. Only going to be up to about 45 and nice and damp, which is what I hate. I hate when it's cold and damp because my old bones just don't. Don't want to move as good. <laughs> they make funny noises when it's uh, cold and damp. But anyhow, other than that, uh, everything is good. So um, happy Friday to y'all. Welcome to the coffee sessions. Let me know what's on your mind today. Let me uh, get over here and see who's in the chat. Man, you guys just wearing it out over here. Let's see. Troy's been here since 8.07. Good morning, Troy. How you doing? Thumbs up to you. Mike Reynolds is in the house. How you doing, Mike? Larry Call. Morning all. 46 now. 58 later. 70s for the weekend. That, that sounds like a pretty good uh, start to the weekend. Find that out. Um, Joanne, a.k.a. Dwayne, is, uh, it says good morning to y'all. Thank God it's Friday. Minus 16. They say it's going to minus 11 for our high. Gee whiz. That's ridiculous. Steve Gronsky says, Good morning, folks. 32 in Mustang, Oklahoma. Hit in the mid 40s. Yeah, that's about all we're going to get to here. Uh, Dave Clemens in the house. How you doing, sir? Good to see you. Uh, Dwayne wants to know what everybody's doing this weekend. Well, we know what he's going to be doing. He's going to be bundling up and trying to stay warm. Um, Earl Walker says, morning, everyone. Give a thumbs up. I appreciate you, uh, Earl. Thank you. Steven Toronto is good morning, sir. How you doing? Kevin Hells is in the house this morning. Good morning to you, Kevin. John N., good morning from the freezing area of Oshawa, Ontario. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, we got quite a few guys from north of the border that, that tune into the coffee session. That's that's pretty good. Ryan Moomy says good morning, everybody. Okay. Steve Kronsky says, Dwayne, I've heard a rumor that there's a football game. <laughs> yeah, I think there is some kind of little football game on TV this weekend. Um yeah, he said they heard the same thing. Let's see. Clyde Labonte says, good morning. Good morning, Clyde. Leo Stager's in the house. Good morning, Leo. Uh, <laughs> John says, whereabouts are you, Joanne? Really need to get you on YouTube thing, YouTube account. It's always confusing for folks. Uh, let's see. Hitch Hamilton says, TGIF, everybody, rain is coming. Yeah, it's already here. Um, good morning, coffee session ears. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I like that. David Jones in the house from Portal Woodworks. How you doing, David? Good morning, sir. George H. Rafus. Good morning from Southern Michigan on this overcast day. Good morning to you, George. Philip Carter says, good morning. Taking the day off from work today. There you go. Go ahead and take it off. Dave says, thumbs up. Thank you, sir. John Lang says, Southwest Florida weather is great. Morning, all. How you doing, John? Bob Sims says, hi, from Inverness, UK. Welcome, uh, Bob. I think you've been here before. Welcome to the coffee sessions. Uh, another one north of the border here. Uh, good morning from Nova Scotia, Canada. Good morning, Grant Clark. Welcome to the coffee sessions. And with that, I think I'm currently caught up on the comments. I was just uh, checking out a few, few little things right before I went live here, and then it almost snuck up on me. I looked up, thought I still had about 10 minutes left, and it was about two minutes away from going live. 
but um, now this this may uh, make some of you guys north of the border a little mad, but I'm going to show you a. Uh, if I can get it up over here. Let's see where was it? Right here. Oops. Let me fix it and get it bigger so everybody can see it. I saw this on Facebook today. One of the meteorologists from a local Atlanta station posted this. And I'll share my screen so you can see it as well. This is a, uh, a chart. He was letting us know that here in the Atlanta metro area, we are in the eighth longest streak for having no snow. So if you look right down here, this is what he was talking about. We're in the eighth longest streak. We're 742 days since we've last had snow. So apparently the last day of snow was January 17th of 2018. And we haven't had any snow now. At least at least through the 29th here. And we didn't have any snow the last couple of days. So that's even, even a, a couple more days added to that. But yes, it, this was kind of interesting to me because I look at... Um, some of these things, uh, like here's 782, that was 2002 to 2004, and a lot of these others are really old. So, so you can see we do get some snow once in a while, but when we don't get it, we get some long stretches there. Um, when uh, where we uh, don't get it, so thought that was kind of interesting. Um, let's see here. I'm missing some comments, I guess. John says, hello, fellow Canadian Grant Clark. Javi's got to be happy. He says he just got back from Home Depot. Big orange box store, as everybody calls it. <laughs> Says he got his new mailbox. Congratulations, Holly. That's a big that's a big deal for him, and I, I know that uh, he's talking about his new property, so he can now get mail officially delivered to his new uh, property. Uh, Bob Sam says he would not miss the coffee. Well, I appreciate that, Bob. Let's see, let's see. George wants to know who shut the show off. I don't know what, did we get shut off? I don't know. I don't know. Looks like it's still going on over there on, on YouTube. I don't even have Facebook open, so I don't know. He says, back on, what the heck? Yeah, it's probably Facebook messing with me. Um, it says he's not seen snow you know in over 40 years in florida yeah your meteorologist down there probably don't even bother doing one of those charts do they <laughs> uh, um, Dwayne says that we can send some snow like two feet no you can keep it all i don't uh, i don't want any don't want any uh jerry blake's Blakesley in the house says, good morning, Brother Dave. Good morning, Jerry. Good to see you on here, buddy. Welcome to the coffee sessions. Hope you're enjoying your Friday morning. Um, let's see here. Keith Stanford's watching this morning. He says, good morning all from Waterville Valley, New Hampshire. Just dropped a ski group at the resort. All right. All right. Okay, I had another little picture I thought I'd share with you too that I thought was interesting. It's actually something I see on Facebook all the time. So I, I uh, snatched the picture and uh, I, thought, <laughs> I thought I would show it. But that you see this meme on here all the time. Well, I guess it's not really a meme. But it says age test like, like, I think it's supposed to say, like, if you remember this. People can't spell. I mean, when they're going to do a meme, something like that, they should do spell check. Make sure they got it right. But anyway, it says, like, if you remember this, share if you slept on one. And, you know, you know, if you're old like me, you know what this is. It's a waterbed. 
And I was just looking at this picture. And first of all, the first thing I noticed is that it looks like this thing's about to pop because it looks like they're putting way too much water in that thing. But the other thing I noticed is, is that frame and that headboard and all, I think there was only like one style of waterbed and this is it. Cause I had, one, <laughs> I had one exactly like that. Um, a few years back. Um, but yeah, you think those things will make a comeback? I wonder if they will, you know, everything seems to, you know, it becomes real popular and then it kind of fades out. And, um, then, you know, a lot of times, just like bell bottom blue jeans, you know, they were the thing back in my day when I was a kid, young teenager and all that. Um, and then they kind of went away and now, now they're coming back. People are wearing them again, acting like it's a new thing. You know, <laughs> Same thing with the, the old uh, Converse tennis shoes. You know, everybody's buying those and acting like it's the, the new hot thing. I'm like, man, that thing has been around forever. I've been wore them when I was a kid. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> it says he had that water bed. I ain't kidding you, Hitch. I had that exact same thing. I mean, I don't, maybe there wasn't but one stuff. I love them. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, good old water beds. Earl says, I had one just like that. Too water and all. Yeah. It's, um, I just have to laugh every time I see that because it's, like I said, it's just exactly like mine. And again, if you look at it close, that sucker looks like it, but somebody needs to go turn that hose off because I don't ever remember filling mine up and it's sticking up that high above the the frame. But yeah, they were they were a lot of fun. They were uh, they were cool. Um, actually, pretty good for sleeping. weren't good for much else, but you could sleep pretty good in them. I like them because you get in and you have that heater thing on them. They'd be, they'd be nice and warm. Um, <laughs> Steven says he's too fat for a waterbed now. Yeah, I imagine a lot of us are. Uh, I don't know what the uh, weight capacity is on those things, but yeah. Leo says he. He had one also. Never had that much water. Yeah, that thing, I swear, that thing looks like somebody's turned the hose on and, and forgot to turn it off. Got watching TV or something. Uh, Dwayne says, I did too, but mine broke. The poor Pat below, below me got it. Ooh, yeah, that wouldn't be good. Yeah. Yeah, and they were such a pain, you know, because even if you just wanted to rearrange the furniture or something, you had to suck your way to, you know, I don't know how much it weighed, but it was heavy, all that water in it. So you'd have to drain the thing, you know, to move it or take it apart or whatever. But, yeah. Yeah, you better put it in the right place when you start filling it up because you weren't going to move it after you got it, after you got it full water. But I thought that was kind of a, Indeed. I see that every, every so often on Facebook. And I always laugh when I see it because I'm like, yeah, that's just exactly like the one I had. Uh, let's see what else we got going on here. Do you remember the sneakers, Red Ball Jets? They had a little Red Ball on both heels. Yeah, I remember that those for sure um, yeah it's just until they pop a leak yeah then they weren't so so much fun were they Cause that's a lot of water in those things um, trying to see if I'm getting all of these conversations here uh let me give you a quick up, update on the uh coronavirus you know i've been talking about that every day now since since it's starting to really get 
wound up. If you were here yesterday, you remembered I, I did the, I Googled the latest coronavirus stats. And yesterday's numbers was there was a, a total of 7,921 confirmed cases and about 170 deaths. Just one day later, today, I did the same thing. And it has 9,923 confirmed cases, which is 2,002 cases more than it was yesterday. And 213 confirmed dead. So this thing is for real, man. It's uh, just fortunately, it's, it's not, you know, uh, fortunately for us, I guess. It's not, uh, it's not here because the, uh, and I think there's still only five, maybe six. I think I heard something on the news that they think a six case is now confirmed in the U.S. somewhere in Illinois. And it's a person who has a roommate or something that that person had just got back from China. So, um, uh, but anyway, so I think there's like five or six confirmed cases in the U.S. But yeah, I'm going to keep my eye on it. I'll keep y'all posted. Uh, hopefully they'll, uh, they'll get a handle on it. And I saw something else too. I guess the World Health Organization or what, I think it was them, has uh, declared a uh, global health emergency or something like that. Uh, John says we have three confirmed, I believe. So that would be in Canada. Let me see if they're showing any in Canada here. Yeah, that's it. well, this is the chart from yesterday. So it is showing three in Canada. No deaths. You know, there's no deaths in any other places. It looks like all the deaths that are in this chart are in um, China. Uh, yeah, World Health, in that World Health Organization, is that what, who stands for? I think it is, declared a global emergency. Thank you for uh, checking that for me, Hitch. Uh, Bart Bexel says, Monday's spiral update is going to suck. Yeah, I mean, I was surprised because I did it, and, and like right here it is, I still got it on my phone, I think. Yeah, right there it is, if you can see that. Let's see if I can get it to... 9,923 in 213 deaths. So that's 2,000 more confirmed cases just overnight, 24 hours. So, yeah, like I said, I hope they get a handle on it pretty quick. It's, uh, it's getting crazy. Uh, let's see, what else did I have here? Well, who's, uh, you know, we talked a little bit about the little, the little football game we got going on this weekend. Has anybody got any predictions on who's going to win that? Does anybody care? Is anybody going to watch it? I will probably have it on just because, you know, there's nothing much on on Sunday, that time of evening. And I may not even be in here watching. <laughs> probably be doing something else. But uh, I probably will at least have it on. I'm pulling for the Chiefs. And I've said before, I really don't care because I don't have any skin in the game. So I like uh, Patrick Mahomes. I think he's fun to watch. So that's why I'm pulling for them. But I really don't care other than that. Um, the one thing that is, well, there's two, there's, there's a good thing. And there's a bad thing about the Super Bowl. The good thing is, that there may be lots of funny commercials. And then the bad thing is that there may also be lots of political commercials. Um, and there, I'm already seeing them. I mean, I can't even watch a YouTube video without the ad before the video starting being um, that rich guy from, from New York. But uh, tired of tired of seeing his commercials already. 
So Philip said, Dave says he's probably going to watch. It always tickles me when people say probably going to instead of probably. I guess that's some of that uh, social media lingo. Um, Ryan says, I will be watching. Don't care who wins. Just want a good game. Yeah, I like football, so I just I'm just hoping it's a good game. And like I said, the the uh, that Mahomes, he's fun to watch because he scrambles, he throws sidearm, and he does all kinds of crazy things. And I like that. That's uh, Phil Carter says I watch it for the commercials, which have sucked the past few years. Yeah, yeah. I also watch it for my Super Bowl squares. I mean, oh, yeah, you're in one of those. Okay. Um, See, you're in Toronto. Says, everybody I know is pulling for the Chiefs, which is scary. Because you know everyone can't win. One good thing is chili cheese dip. Man, that sounds good. I know I'm probably going to have to run to the store and get some... um, some snacks or something. And I know one thing, I probably will not pay much. <laughs> this is, that may sound bad. But I probably won't pay much attention to the halftime show. I'm just, the halftime shows here on just, I guess I'm just getting old. You know, they're just, you know, cause they always get somebody young and hip and, but to me, they suck. So I probably won't watch the halftime show at all. Uh, yeah, Rob says, I heard both Bloomberg and Trump will have commercials. Yeah, that's what I heard, too. That's what I heard, too. So, you know, it'd be nice if, if they could just agree to not, you know, leave football alone. <laughs> I mean, it's the Super Bowl. But that's where everybody's going to be watching. So they're going to be having their their uh, commercial on them. Let's see. I'm not sure what this means. Bell has blocked your U.S. commercials up here. American commercials are so much better. Who's Bell? Are you talking? Are you talking about? Uh, Um, what is it? Like the phone, like the phone company type that bell, AT&T type stuff. Is that what you're talking about? I don't know who bell is. Inform me, John N. Oh man. Hitch. He says, Dave, we are making white castle burgers. What kind are you making? Hitch? You don't, I mean, you don't have a white castle down there, right? Um, we don't have any around here. We got crystals, which, I don't care what anybody says. All these people that are from around here, the born and raised, they'll say Crystal's better than White Castle, but I have to disagree. Uh, but you, you can only buy the White Castles, the frozen ones at like Publix or something, and they're just not the same. I've tried getting them and microwaving them, and nah, they're just not the same. But man, if you got a White Castle nearby, I don't know if they have those in Florida. I wouldn't think so, but maybe they do. Uh, Stevens, you know, he's got it going on. He says, Dave, Super Bowl sounds like pie day. Yeah. Yeah, I just finished off another one of those uh, chocolate, cream, satin, whatever it is, pies. I love those things. Bell is the big phone company. Okay, yeah, that's what, that's what I thought you were talking about. Like Ma Bell, as we, we called it down here. Uh, Bell Telephone. Yeah, okay. Leo says he'll probably get some snacks and a few beverages. Yeah. Well, you'll need the beverages for the halftime game. I'm sure. Or the, yeah, the halftime show. Uh, let's see. Block is the headliner for the Super Bowl halftime show. I wonder if she will have a wardrobe malfunction. She likes to take it to the limit. And see, this just goes to show you, I don't even know who the hell you're talking about when you say block. I don't have any idea who that is. Um, 
and you heard Dave's going to play his guitar for the halftime show. No, not this Dave. Maybe some other. J-Lo. Okay. Yeah, because isn't it J-Lo and Shakur or something like that? Now, see, if you just said J-Lo instead of Block, I wouldn't know who you're talking about, and I still wouldn't care. <laughs> uh, wouldn't walk across the street and see her perform, I'm telling you. Uh, that's Jay Fabrication. That's uh, Big Johnny out there in California. No, not California. Is it California? I can't remember where you're at, John. I'm sorry. Can't remember. Dave Plymouth says he probably should get see you tomorrow on the CNC with Dave. Yeah, we're going to have a good uh, good conversation tomorrow, I think. Uh, trying to get some input. Uh, Javi, I don't know if he's still out there watching this morning or not, but he's uh, going to start making some plug-and-play type controllers and just trying to get some input on what people want in them uh, you know don't want to make them too fancy drive the price up if people aren't going to use that yeah arizona i knew when i said california i thought no wait that's not right you're not in california oh where i got that from um cannot keep up with uh, and rob is in casa grande if you didn't know that johnny um, yeah, I didn't hit my timer again, but I'm almost out of time here. Um, well, I guess I can turn the Corona stuff off. Yeah, it's not, uh, all right. So I'll have, I got this wrote down. So it's 9,923 confirmed cases as of whatever time today, I guess I was this morning. So we'll see what it jumps to Monday. Not looking good. But, no uh, oh, hobby's here. I might have woke him up, but he's here. He says, yep, always here building my mailbox as I listen to the day. Life is good. I can't wait till you get your uh, mailbox up, Hobby. Make sure you send me your address, too. I'll, I'll send you something to test it out. Uh, Ryan Ballard says, Dave, we need a show and tell. Um, I'm happy to do those anytime, uh, whether it be a bunch of people sending me pictures of their stuff and doing it that way, or having a person that has got a lot of stuff that wants to come on and show off their stuff. I'm happy, you know, it's, I'm pretty easy when it comes to that show. I, you know, anybody that wants a topic or whatever, we're pretty much, uh, pretty much covered because we've covered it all you know over and over again so what anybody wants to see that's what we'll do uh maybe i'll uh, maybe i'll go ahead and put something on facebook and, and you know people want to get stuff lined up for um saturday the 8th which will be uh, a week from tomorrow we can do a uh do a show and tell. I might even have a show and tell thing to show y'all. I've already got it drawn up. I've just got to get get out there and do it. Uh, anyhow, Let's see. Client says hobby by the fire. It keeps the fire going nonstop because he's got plenty, of, <laughs> plenty of stuff to burn up around there. All righty. Well, let's see. I've been on there thirty minutes. I guess it's time to wrap this one up. Um, Ronald Cool just got here. He says he's late, but that's okay, Ronald. Uh, we're about to sign off here, but. Um, Good to see you. Hope you're healing up well. Let me turn this silly banner off since we're getting ready to get out of here. Uh, all right. Well, you guys have a great weekend. Uh, hopefully, your Friday weather is going to be better than mine. But like I said, it's all good. It's uh, They're saying the weekend's looking pretty good. And it don't really matter because everything I've got to work on is inside. 
either in the house or in the shop. So it's not like yard work or stuff. So, so alrighty then everybody have a good one. And, um, if you're not doing anything Monday morning around 9 a.m., we'll be here drinking coffee. Come hang out with us. See y'all. Everybody have a fantastic weekend.